So we're marking question 12, question 11, and for some reason question 9. I just cut and pasted from a different document. I didn't bother going in order. So this quiz is going to end up being worth 4 plus 5 plus 3, 4 plus 5. It's going to be out of 12. But we're going to start out for your own edification by going through these first ones here. Are you ready? Mark your own with me. See how you did. Now, we're trying to show that this triangle, I think that's this little guy here, is congruent to this little guy here. Since that's what I'm trying to show, Marcus, I can already tell you what the last line is going to be. It's going to be that right there, although they wrote AOE and COF, but it's the same idea. And there's going to be a congruency statement. In other words, see this proof here? I knew that was going to be my last line. I don't know whether it's going to be side, 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 angle, side, angle, or side, angle, side. See this one here? I can already fill it as last line. Triangle D, G, F is congruent to triangle F, E, because that's what I was trying to show. For a con if you're trying, whatever you're trying to show, Jordan, in a proof, that's always your last line and why. Okay? The rest of it is a little more hit and miss. I agree. So let's see. Well, it says A, B is parallel to D, C. Why, Joe? Now, I'm going to stop right now, and I'm going to say, did I just write something down? I should mark that on my diagram. I was yelling at you about this yesterday. How do I show parallel lines? Here's how I don't show parallel lines. Boston, this does not mean parallel. It means same size. How do I show parallel lines? Arrows pointing in the same direction. It says that this line is parallel to that line, and that's how I show it. What do I now know because those two lines are parallel? Now, well, now that I know those two lines are parallel, Taylor, I see a Z, which makes me think that's what they want me to write here. Not sure, but I think so. So I'm going to say this angle and this angle are the same. Why are they the same? What reason? So that's my reason, half mark for that. And then the angle. Now, there are several ways you can do it. If you put like a little 1 there and a 2 there and just said angle 1 equals angle 2, you could even say angle A equals angle C because those are the only angles there. Most of you probably want angle, let's see, EAO is the same as angle FCO. One mark for this line, half mark, half mark. If there's two blanks to fill in on one line, each line's worth one mark. If there's two spaces, a half mark for each space. Okay. And to show that these angles are the same, there's several ways. You can use a little loop and then put like a single hash mark. That means they're the same size. Or you can put the same symbol. Sometimes I put a dot there and a dot there or a star there and a star there or a check there and a check there. But some way... If you write it down, Boston, put it on your diagram. There is no way you can keep track of all this in your head. Boston, what's the next thing? Read it to me. Look up. What's the next thing? Read it to me. Louder now. From here to here equals from here to here. How do I show the same length hash marks? Okay. Oh, uh, why? This is what you were starting to ask before I cut you off. How, how come I know those two are the same length? What did you write, folks? Yeah. The radius is. Radia. Oh, you even used the plural. By the way, traditionally, if we want to show you that the point is in the center, we'll call it point O. Why? Because what does the letter O look like? A circle. So traditionally, we've used O for the center of a circle to kind of let you know that's supposed to be the center. Just for what it's worth, in case you're wondering. And I'm looking for congruency rules. Boston, right now, here's what I have. Angle side, something, or side angle, something. I don't think I'm using side, side, side. In fact, I kind of cheated and I glanced down here because I'm allowed to look for hints. What rule, Adam, do they want me to use? So that must mean I'm going to end up going angle, side, angle. They want me to show that these two angles here are the same. 
how do I know that these two angles here are the same? Marcus. Ah. Bird off. And let's call it angle EOA, or you could go AOE. Equals angle FOC, or COF. And I'll mark that, Sierra, on my diagram. I forced myself never to move a line on until I've written it on my diagram. How will I show those two guys your angle? How about putting a check mark and a check mark? That works for me. <clears throat> angle side angle has now been proven. So give yourself a score out of four. If you're not sure about something, put a star next to it and lawyer with me afterwards. Now, I just need to remind you, I've said the last three are going to be for homework and count. So one, two, three. Stop here just so I don't accidentally do those questions. Just curious, how many got four out of four? So some of you, good. Those that didn't, the nice thing is it's pretty tough to get zero on these. I think most of you will get some of the blanks, and it's really getting perfect is tough. I know. Oh, Simon, am I putting like 10 of these on your test? Just see. In fact, one congruency like this, and then one from the previous lesson, lesson five, where we first started doing these kind of proofs, and you're trying to show two lines were parallel or, or, or something. Question two. Question two. Devin, what am I going to write here? Yeah, you do. What's the rule? So what am I going to write here? Ooh, someone hasn't watched the video since she's, okay, we need to chat, kiddo. Matt, what am I going to write here? The thing they gave me, that's what given means. Yeah, JL equals NL. Courtney, did I just write something? I better mark it on my diagram. JL, this side right here is the same length as NL. Remember, for lengths, for lengths, Aaron, we said use a little hash mark. How does that help me? Does that tell me anything new? I don't know yet. Jordan, how many givens did they give me? I've used one. Do you see a given appearing anywhere else? Do you see a given appearing anywhere else right now? Then you know what? I think it would be reasonable to assume that I think on the next line is my next given. You see how I kind of use logic and reasoning to actually figure that out too? So, hey, Jordan, what is the next given? Read it out to me. Angle J equals angle N. Angle J, that's this guy here, equals angle N, that's this guy here. And Shania, now I think either side angle, side, or angle side angle. If I went side, oh, wait a minute, Shania, what's the rule that they wrote here? I'm looking for an X. Ah, you know what? They want me to say that those two angles are the same, don't they? That's the vertically opposite angles. They want me to say that angle JLK is congruent to triangle, Mr. Duick? Congruent, Mr. Duick? Is the same size as, sorry angle NLM. And again, you could have said KLJ and MLN as long as the L is in the middle for both of them. Yes? Which congruency rule have I force fed into here? Which congruency rule have I force fed into here? Because this is my last line. It's either going to be side, 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 angle, side, or angle, side, angle. Which one have I force fed into here? Darn right. See it? Angle! Side, angle. So one mark for that, half mark, half mark, one mark, one mark. There's your one mark per line. Just curious, how many got four out of four on that one? Same, good, 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 good though. Number three. I already cheated and wrote the final line in. Hopefully you all clue into that on the test, and that way at least there's no way you can possibly get zero if the final line isn't filled in. Whatever it says show goes there. You may not know the reason, but you get something. 
Shay, what am I going to write first? Why? Oh, yeah, start out with a, when in doubt, start out with a given. So, uh, D, what blue, Mr. Duke? D, G is parallel to E, F, given. Joe, how do I show parallel lines? What, what symbols do I use? So, D, G is parallel to E, F. <gasps> you know what I now see, Marcus? As I cough after that deep breath. Yeah, you think? Yeah, Marcus, I see it. Yeah, I see it. Wow. A little emphysema there or something. Marcus, what do I see? What letter? Z. Thank you for saying it like a proud Canadian. I don't know. Oh, I do know that's what they want me to write next because what do they have for a reason? That's also a hint that I'm going for. So what's the Z that I now see? That one there, which means that this angle and this angle are the same. There, I've labeled it. Let's write it. I'm going to go angle G, D, F equals angle E, F, D. As long as the D is in the middle of the first one and the F is in the middle of the second one, we're good. And in terms of congruency rules, I'm already pretty sure I'm not going to be using side, 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 because already right now, Boston and I have angle, which suggests either angle, side, angle, or side, angle, side. Oh, I looked, Mr. Doak, it is side, angle, side. Yeah, I noticed that too. Emily, what am I going to write here? What? Really? Yes. Oh, and I'm going to mark it. DG is also the same length as EF. Liam, not only are they parallel, they're same size. Liam, which congruency rule do they want me to use at the very, very bottom there? So I got right now side angle. Side? I, I, I think that's what, oh. What, Matt, what am I going to write here? First of all, I'm going to write here, because we have to assume the jury's stupid, right? A hello, jury. That's the same in both triangles. Same side. By the way, if you want a nice way to label that one, what we used to do back when geometry was part of Math 12 is we would put a big S on it, standing for, what do you think, Matt? That was our way of, that's same side. Because if you leave it blank, you might forget that you mentioned it. So, Or, or you could just put a single hash mark on it, whatever. And now, Shania, there it is. Side, angle, side. Triangle DGF is congruent to triangle FED. <clears throat> one mark per line. Half mark, half mark. One mark, one mark, half mark, half mark. If you said equal sides or shared side, the fancy phrase used to be common side. Yeah, I'm looking at you. You're good? How can you not be, right? Okay, well, let's keep going. This one I would consider a nastier one. I don't think I'm going to give you one quite this tough on your test. Liam, can you read to me the first phrase there? Why? How come? Reason. Oh, yeah, okay, so hey, I got that one, Mr. Duick. Here's the problem. What's the new word that we've just used that the jury doesn't understand? There's no midpoint. And that's why you can see the next line, the reason is what, Matt, on the next line? I need to explain to the jury what midpoint means or what I now know because of it. Although you know enough English prefixes, what do you think midpoint would mean? Pardon me? Halfway. In fact, I think what it's saying is, look, if that's the midpoint of that, what can you tell me about this and this? They are the same size. Courtney, that's what they want me to say here. They want me to say, hey, you know what? That means that XP equals YP. 
Why? Because that's what midpoint means. I, I mean, jury. Oh, and that gives me side. In fact, I also notice I have a common side here. I'm already thinking side, 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 or side angles. I'm thinking one with two S's in it. <clears throat> Devin, what's this say? What's the next thing that they gave me? Yeah, now you're getting the hang of this little game. Did you say XZ equals YZ? Yes. And you didn't say XZ equals YZ like some people have had, and I've rebuked them? Yes, because we're proud Canadians. Oh, this, since I use two hash marks here, I'll use one hash mark here and here. It's the same as that. Danielle, what do you think I'm going to write here? What's the same side in both triangles? Sorry? Z's not a side. That's a point. Yep. You know what they want me to write for the stupid jury? Hello. Look up, look up, look up, look up. Okay, we ready to show them those two are the same size. Those two are the same size. Oh, and by the way, we're going to use the same side twice. You're going to write ZP equals ZP. And I said I like to show a little S for same size, same side. Simon, which congruency rule will be force-fed into here? Oh, and what's going to go right here? This line, the show, triangle. X, P, Z is congruent to triangle Y, P, Z. This one's out of five. One more. Sydney, what am I gonna write first here, kiddo? Darn right. Given. Oh, and I'm gonna mark it on my diagram because to try and keep track of all this in your head, Sarah, ain't happening. So A B, dunk dunk, B C, dunk dunk. And I'm already thinking in terms of congruency rules. Side. Boston, what am I going to write here? Oh. Boston, can you read this out loud to me? Say what? Say it again. The jury just, you just lost the jury. And you know which word you lost the jury with? I bet you we're going to have to explain that on the next line. In fact, I'm going to tell you the next line is going to be definition of bisect. Now, what does bisect mean? We have talked about this one a while ago, but we have. Remember what bisect means? It's also an English word, which you should know. Marcus, uh, not just split into two. If I were to, sorry, two equal halves, okay? Because you can cut something into two and have one big chunk and one small chunk. That's not bisected. Bisect, cut exactly in half. Now, you said equal sides, but this says angles. I think what I can conclude is this. Now, let's read. This bisects angle A, B, C. It cuts this angle in half. Don't write that. Don't put a loop there That's because I'm going to erase it. I think what that really means is this angle and this angle are the same size. And Sierra, that's what they want me to write for the jury. Angle A, B, D is the same size as angle C, B, D. Is that okay, Courtney? Bisect cuts in half means I know each half is the same. Now, why is that nice? Ready, Courtney? Look up. Side, angle. Can I get side, angle, side? How come? What can you tell me about this side in both triangles? 
Y yes, 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 yes. You, you start to say it? I'm telling you, you did. Courtney, what could you tell me about this side in both triangles? What can you tell me about this side in both triangles? Ta-da! We're saying to the jury, hello. I'm using the same side in both triangles. And which congruency rule have I forced that into here, Joe? Which they mentioned, but I, I, you know what? Even if they hadn't given it to me, I could, I could have got that. What am I going to write here? Oh, this line: uh, triangle bad is congruent to triangle bad. Stop here. So this is the quiz. See if you can figure out number nine. By the way, I'm going to bet you somewhere in number nine, I'm going to be using same side because they do share a side. I don't know where, but somewhere. Number 11. Oh, Sam, by the way, I'm going to bet you somewhere in number 11, I'm going to be using same side because they do share a side. And... Number 12, and Bender, you know what? I'm going to bet you somewhere in number 12, I am going to be using the same side because they do share a side. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me pause there for a second. So we've done our shuffle. Next unit. Next unit is trigonometry, the study of triangles, but now from a more mathematical angle perspective. And we start out always, when we look at trig, with the oldest, perhaps, theorem about triangles, Pythagoras, which we've talked about already. So trigonometry is the mathematics involved in studying triangles. Triangles have been used in, for years in engineering and architecture and therefore warrant a specific branch of mathematics devoted to them. Uh, none of you are in my Physics 12. I have a couple of my Physics 12s in my other class. But Physics 11, we use Trig. Physics 12, we use Trig all the time. Hugely useful. Hugely useful. Pythagoras was a famous Greek mathematician who lived in the 6th century. He and his followers, the Pythagoreans, studied many properties of geometric finger, figures. The most famous discovery made by Pythagoras, actually he didn't discover it, he just popularized it so they named it after him, is this relationship. First of all, Let's name the sides of a right-angled triangle. Here's a right-angled triangle. The side opposite the 90-degree angle is called the hypotenuse. And traditionally, it's given the symbol lowercase c. because it's the third big side and it's the third letter of the alphabet. The other two sides are called legs. Not Jordan leg, but leg. And we traditionally use the letters A and B for them. Now, actually, I do see some teachers, Alex, teach this way. Leg one plus leg 2 squared squared equals hypotenuse squared. The only reason I don't like that is, it, this is, what number does that lowercase l also look like? It, yeah, uh, I've seen some teachers teach it like this. In fact, I think Mr. Rocca teaches it this way. Side squared plus side squared. My problem is, Matt, what number does lowercase s look like in my atrocious handwriting? A 5? So I'm yucky all the way around. Did I give him the notes? Did they do copy? So I use a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which is easier to remember because it's alphabetical. We can use this to try and find the missing hypotenuse or the missing leg. Finding the hypotenuse. By the way, you did do some some Pythagoras and some of the geometry packages we just did too, so this is useful for the test. Find the missing side. 
first question I ask Sydney is, is this a right angle triangle? Does it have that little box symbol there? It does. Looks 90 degrees. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Taylor, in our notes, we're going to write down the Pythagoras equation every time. In our homework, if you want to start going straight to plugging in the numbers, I'm good with that. But we'll do more work in our notes, Courtney, so when you're studying later on, you know what the heck we did. What side A doesn't matter as long as it's not the hypotenuse? What side B doesn't matter as long as it's not the hypotenuse? What side C always the hypotenuse? So I almost always do the hypotenuse first. What's sitting where the hypotenuse is? X squared. A squared, I'll go with 56 squared. B squared, I'll go with 33 squared. You could put the 33 there, Boston, and the 56 there. What you could not do, Boston, is not put the X there because the hypotenuse always goes there. How do I get the X squared by itself? It already is! Woohoo! Then I'm going to crunch the left-hand side. 56 squared plus 33 squared. I get 42.25 equals x squared. How to get rid of a squared? Divide. Matt. The square root of 42.25 is going to be equal to, and you know what the square root of x squared is? Just plain old x. You want to make sure you know where your square root button is on your calculator. Mine is second function that. And this one works out evenly. Most of them won't, but sometimes they will. Equals 65 centimeters. Read example two to me, Boston, my friend. Did you say rectangular? Devin, do you remember what that stands for? Don't. We're going to draw a little picture. As soon as they give me a word problem, I'm going to draw a little picture. Little physics acronym I teach my kids is a problem solving strategy. And because I can't draw a rectangle to save my life, I'm going to cheat. There's my rectangle. What are the dimensions? 16 by 28. Marcus, I'll be smart enough to put the 16 on the short side and the 28 on the longer side. You don't have to, but don't confuse yourself. And Boston, I think the diagonal is uh, that line right there. That's where I'm going to put the x. Hey, Boston, how big is this angle right here? How big is this angle right here, folks? Yeah, that's the definition of rectangle. That's why I can use Pythagoras. They don't need to tell me it's a right angle triangle. Rectangle literally means right angle, but rect was a different word for right in Latin, I think. Oh, am I being asked to find the hypotenuse or a leg? Hypotenuse. So I'll write down a squared plus b squared equals c squared. c squared is x squared. This is going to be 16 squared plus 28 squared. Find x. I'll do it up here quietly, but see if you can do this on your calculator on your own, too.
Am I right? Okay. Sometimes I can ask you to find hypotenuse. Johnson, sometimes I can ask you to find a leg. What do I got? 102? 